The man behind one of San Diego's most famous celebrations says life before Pride was far from a parade and credits the Hillcrest community for lifting him up at his lowest point. As we continue to celebrate community, he talked with me about his passion to pay it forward and says that when it comes to the LGBT community, the work is far from over. If you make it to San Diego Pride's next event, you'll find the organization's executive director, Fernando Lopez, front and center in the crowd. Oh. Smiling, laughing, spreading joy, and reminding people they're in a safe space. But behind that smile is a well of strength, resiliency, running deep, yet sitting right on the surface. We get uh, comfortable sometimes. We think, oh, we've come so far. We live in California. We have so many rights and protections. But people are still fired from their jobs in the state. Lopez is people a first generation have... U.S. citizen born in a multicultural family. His dad was a Jewish Catholic migrant, his mom a Jewish immigrant. What my parents weren't prepared for was to have a LGBT kid. He says he was faced with discrimination at a young age, both at school and home. Once I came out when I was in high school, I was met with homelessness. Struggling with acceptance everywhere he turned, he says he found himself at a tipping point. So I went to Hillcrest um, where I knew that there was some sort of LGBT community and I just sat like literally in the gutter and cried because I knew what I was about to do. When a complete stranger found me, put their, their hand on my arm and said, what's wrong and what can I do to help? 20 years later, he's now offering that arm he once needed to others who feel like there's nowhere to turn. There's so many LGBT serving organizations now in this region who want to find your interest uh, and just meet you where you're at and help lift you up. Lopez has grown into a prominent leader in the LGBTQ community, locally and nationwide. He's heavily immersed in creating programs that foster youth leadership and also works with the organizations Equality California and Marriage Equality USA. He says while pride celebrations are a time to unite, connect, and spread love, it's also a reminder of all the work they've done and the work that's still to come. Every day I get to be a part of this. It not only makes the world safer for me, but it makes the world safer for the next person. And that is so important to me. Vanessa Paz, ABC 10 News. And if you or someone you know is in need of support, we have resources to crisis hotlines on our website, 10news.com. Just go ahead and click on this story.